I personally have heard, let's just call it horror stories, mm -hmm. uh, from the domestic helpers, essentially from the Filipinos overseas, that money that they kept sending back, thinking that it was being used for uh, house for, or, or for a house or for you know their intent, their intentions, mm -hmm. was not mm -hmm. more was was not even fully yeah. uh, utilized for that purpose. Filipinos behavior is that every payday they send money. Mm -hmm. Compare it with Indonesians, they don't send every payday. They send every, every two or three months. Mm. Why is that? It, it's the culture. They say, you know, we, you, I asked the Indonesians and they say, it's it's inherent in them, so they couldn't ask questions. They couldn't answer the question: Why are you sending uh, once every two two months or three months? Yeah. In fact, they're the ones <laughs> asking the Filipinos: Why are you sending every month? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, whether they're saving or not, I guess uh, we can see that the Filipinos are uh, tend to have challenges in mm -hmm. saving uh, mm -hmm. rather than sending. I get money and I get it in cash, which I have it on hand. Yeah. You know, physical cash. I am bound to, as by, by nature, I am bound to spend it because it's disposable, it's in, in my hands. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whereas if I have something which, which, which is going to the bank account and it's, it's you know, lying there, then probably I won't be that impulsive to spend it. Mm -hmm. the, the person having bank accounts is in single digits. Yes. As compared to, let's say, other countries like, you know, probably India. Mm -hmm. People still tend to send money to their bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Probably Indonesia, Indonesia, for that matter, people tend to send their money to the bank accounts. What we wanted to do is want, we wanted to raise the level of consciousness mm -hmm. of, of, of the sender, mm -hmm. right? How much he's sending, how much he's saving or keeping for himself uh, mm -hmm. overseas. So that now he could, it's not a, a solution by itself, but by raising the awareness of how much they are spending or sending back home gives already a something like an advantage for them we call it an advantage that they will be aware on how it's being sent yeah being financial you know the the literacy yeah this movement of financial literacy uh, starts to have an impact yeah the first impact it will have on are the the households themselves uh, you would say that you would imagine that probably on the reverse side, they would they, they probably would be spending less mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you know when you have cash, it's either you spend it or you you keep it. Mm -hmm. Assuming let's just say you keep it in the bank, so there might be a, a less spending, but that's why the first impact would be uh, the households themselves. They'd be in a more shall we say better uh, mm -hmm. position and uh, better prepared you know every year we do have a calamity and it's yeah. just it's just a question of how big or how small the damage will be but there will always be a calamity yeah. they will be well prepared